all of our team members are long-term oil and gas, traditional oil and gas energy players. And, and through the downturn of the last few years, it became exceedingly evident that capital was evaporating from our traditional businesses in a, in a very big way. Um, attracting capital for traditional energy plays were you know, becoming near to impossible except for the very few select teams. There was also an additional realization that transition was going to be required. Uh, as we watched you know, various uh, regulatory bodies, the world over change and, and modify to hard regulation, it began to be obvious that this was inescapable. And so we thought, you know, we of the ages that we wanted to do something meaningful and new and maybe be part of this new transition. And so uh, I had an old friend that uh, I had known for a number of years who had worked in the hydrogen space previously, he had extensive experience in it. He was uh, a PhD, uh, uh, I believe chemical engineer. And I, I approached him and asked him for his opinions in, in any technology or any methodology we might choose. And so we chose pyrolysis. We, uh, he had found uh, some technology that had existed and was documented from the early 80s that had been expired. And it was done, uh, it was probably five to eight years of R&D work that was behind this work. And it was all since expired. So we, re we rejuvenated it, we reproduced it, and we are now in process of scaling it. In that process, we've had some step changes in and some derivations of that original technology, but that was the seed of it.